Hello, this is Logan Hawk, the Angry Christian, and I am here to discuss the trilemma known as liar, lunatic, or lord. And now a lot of people try to debunk this, saying that it's only a dilemma, that Jesus was either a liar and a lunatic, or he was lord. And they try to use that to tear down the argument. But I'm here to tell you that it is, yes, a three-part problem. Jesus was either, one, a liar, he was lying and he knew he was lying, or two, he was a lunatic, he was a liar and didn't know he was lying, or three, he was Lord. Now, I'm assuming that all of you believe that Jesus existed, that you believe the Bible is at least somewhat accurate, and that you believe that Jesus said the things that he said in the Bible. Now please, I'm hoping that many of you do not use this as a platform to come to me and belch out your theory that, uh, you know, the Bible was written by man, man is fallible, therefore the Bible is fallible. No, uh, that is a different argument for a different time. I'll get to that later. Uh, let's see. This argument was made popular by C.S. Lewis in part two of his book called Mere Christianity. And I first want to talk about the scripture uh, in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Now, Jesus was one of many people who claimed to be the Messiah, and many religions say that, you know, they are the only way. But granted, this is the only time where Jesus is the most straightforward in saying that there's no way to the Father but by Him. More often than not, Jesus allowed other people to say it. So I'm going to move on to, to other examples. Uh, what you will find is that Jesus quite frequently said, you know, your sins are forgiven. He was the only person among the people that are claimed to be Messiahs to have said that. We also have Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 20, where Peter confesses Christ. Uh, this is where Jesus and the disciples, they go to Caesarea Philippi. Jesus asks his disciples, hey, who do people say that I am? And they say, well, some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah, some say you're a prophet. Jesus asks uh, Peter, he says, who do you say I am? And Peter says, you're the Messiah, you're the Son of God. And Jesus replies with, blessed are you, Peter, for flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. I will, in a future video, be talking about uh, this scripture and using it to prove that Peter was actually not the first pope and that Jesus did not put a papacy in play. But anyways, back onto the topic. There's also Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, where Jesus says, All power and authority have been given unto me. Therefore, go and preach the gospel, and baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So, if all authority has been given unto Jesus. What power does that leave Buddha? Or Krishna? Or Vishnu? Or Muhammad? None. It leaves them none. Now, it, here comes the ultimate point. If you believe that Jesus was a good man and a good teacher, 
then you have to believe that he is the Messiah, that he is Lord, that he is the end-all, be-all, that there is no way to heaven but by him. If you're not, if you do not believe that he is Lord, then you have to admit that he was either a liar or a lunatic, one or the other. So you have to pick one side of the fence. Was Jesus a lunatic? Was he a liar? Or was he Lord? Anyways, the choice is up to you, and I pray that you choose wisely.